Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Groom, and today we are going to talk about Insidious The Last Key. Released in 2018, Insidious The Last Key is the fourth installment in the Insidious universe, directed by Adam Ro Robitel. It's a horror mystery thriller that is actually set between the third and first movies, which is confusing. Because this whole timeline is confusing sometimes. It's very confusing. Especially since there was, what, like, time travel? <laughs> There's going back and... This is so crazy. So, the movie opens up with Elise's uh, childhood home. Gives you a little backstory of how things were with her and her brother. Um, and her how daughter. it was very difficult with her father. They lived really close to a correctional facility where people were executed a lot via electric chair. So, with Elise having this power, there were a lot of spirits around, and she would convey to her parents that she could talk to them, and they would come to her, and her mom was very receptive. However, her father kind of beat the crap out of her every time. She wouldn't deny having this ability, and she eventually runs away from home, and it picks up with her remembering a really screwed up event that happened involving, you know the death of her mother and possibly something else happening to the present time of the movie, which is somewhere in the past part of the whole universe. It's really confusing. It's between three and one. She has to go back to her childhood home to help out someone that's called upon her. And again, this is a spoiler free review, so we'll leave it right there. Kind of builds from there. So if you want to know more, watch the movie. Yes. So, we'll go into likes and dislikes. Your like. I love Lin Shay. Oh my god, I love Lin Shay. <laughs> Her acting literally saved this movie. Like, I was... The only thing that kept me in this movie for about 75% of it was the fact that Lin Shay is such a good actor. And it's the overall acting, I would say. Especially Lin Shay, but the overall acting in the movie was really good. The, the actor that portrayed the dad was really good. The actor that portrayed young Lin Shay was really was really good, and it was like it was casted well. Uh, the characters were believable. I just think like the the acting, especially Lin Shay, was really good in this movie, and that's why I probably enjoyed the most. I think Lin Shay is honestly what got me at all interested in the first movie when it came out because I was like, eh, I'm not really into that kind of movie, and I was like Lin Shay, and I was like. Oh, yes, It's literally please. the only... You were like, I'll give it a chance. Yeah, it has her I love her. I love her so much. I really liked the interaction between uh, Tucker and Specs and Elise's character. They're just so cute. And yeah. the way that they all play off each other, I really enjoyed. I thought that... The design of the creatures or ghosts or demons yeah, or whatever, whatever they were... They were was pretty cool. Sometimes that can look a little hokey. That was fine. Yeah, the cre the creature you see in the tr in the trailer with the finger key. Key face or whatever the his key, name key. is. I don't know why they called him Key Face. The keys were on his yeah. fingers. He had a face. It's fine. Yeah. Um. I just. I definitely agree with you. I do think that th that that was done well. The I, yeah. oh my god, yeah, that was it was done for, like I don't want to give away anything else, but the the costume. Oh, yeah. Effects in this movie were mm -hmm. really good. And the acting with it was really good. And that the just set design kind of... was pretty good, too. Yeah, it, it all, it, it all, it looked good. It's just a goddamn shame the rest of it was shit. So let's Hated move it. on to our dislikes. Oh, my God. Dislike. I am fully sighted, and I couldn't see half this goddamn movie. There were a bunch of times where I would just be like, Asking what? him, like, is it foggy or is it just me? Because my vision right now is, it's foggy. It's it like was looking foggy. through wax paper. It looked like that. Was it like, was just what? out of focus. Why? Like, I'd, I there don't... were scenes where it would be, like, Specs looking, you know, sitting in the, the Winnebago thing, looking at something, and it would look foggy, but then it would go to Elise's point of view, and it still looked foggy, and you were like... But why? I was super confused. Why would you do... It's not making it look creepy. It's making it... Look bad. <laughs> yeah. And then you're just kind of like, well, wait, am I actually seeing something creeping up yeah. behind her? Or is that just like you can't... 
like use your I, camera well. I understand there are some effects where it's like it wants you to think it's one thing, think it's just like you know. Yeah, but this is that there. kind of movie that yeah, you're yeah. supposed like, to be doing that. Yeah, like, why make like, it harder? It's like you're supposed to think, "Hey, is that a jacket?" And then the jacket fills up, and a person comes out. Like, you don't need to have it blurry. To yeah. I was after I was like looking in the background, like. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? I think that? that it took you out of the story because you're concentrating so hard. Like, well, wait, is is that something I'm supposed to be looking for? Exactly. Or is that just like, and then you you lose what you've invested into the story. There's one thing they show, and I'll explain it to you when we're not recording. There's one thing that they show constantly through the goddamn movie. And I was so hoping it was going to manifest into something, and it freaking didn't, and it just disappointed the shit out of me. Did I question you about it? I don't know. Okay. So, Blindy didn't pick up on it, but whatever. No. No, it was just some, it was something that was in the background of a lot of shots, and I'm like, that's going to be something. There it is. Here it comes. And it never delivered. Um, What did you dislike about this? I, in general, am not a fan of jump scares. And there was a number of times, like, I called the one thing. I was like, mm-hmm. this is how this scene's going to end and go into the next scene. That's yeah. how they're going to take us into the present. Which was blaringly obvious. Yeah. But there was one part where you're just like... <laughs> we guessed wrong so You're many so times. tense at this point. And you're like, and jump scare. And anxiety. And jump scare. Anxiety more. And jump scare. And how about now? And then you're like... Whatever. I don't even care anymore. And then it happens. And you're like, God damn it. You know? Yeah, yeah. That, that kind one, of thing. That one, I hate that shit. The, that tunnel one got me. Yeah. Because you, you were, just, were just waiting for it. For Forever. For like five minutes. And, and I'm just like. And then it finally happens. And then and you're, you're like, like. Yeah. Come like, on. You're like, it's not going to happen. And then it happens. Like they got you. It, it felt like it was going on for like 10 minutes. And I was just starting to get pissed. Yeah. Like, it's not building tension at this point. It's just irritating your yeah. audience. It goes from bil- building tension to, all right, now I'm getting now I'm getting annoyed yeah. with it. Then you're, and you're like, Jesus, just do the goddamn jump scare. Like, move on Let's so move we can on. move on. So, yeah, I mean, that's my dislike. I was really irritated about that. Not because I like to make myself look like an idiot, but, like, I just, uh, the payoff... If it's going to be a jump scare, it needs to have a good payoff. And the payoff was not enough to justify that to me. And I was really irritated. That scared the hell out of me, though. Oh, well, yeah. It was because that's your body's natural reaction. It's the cheapest scare. of all scares. Yeah. So, how would you rate this movie? Oh, let's rate this a heap and pile of garbage. Out of um, five? Out of five, I give it a two and a half. Two of that is Lin Shay's acting. A solid two of that is Lin Shay's acting. I wouldn't put it below. I wouldn't put, like, any any movie that has this good of quality acting in it anything below it too and the extra half i give it to a lot of the the bringing together the jumps to the other stuff in the universe and the little like oh shit oh my god now everything make now a bunch of shit makes sense i like that i like the i'm hoping this is the last one i'm hoping this is how they kind of tie everything up because I it, felt that they had it pretty well tied up. If before, they drag but... this shit on for another movie, like they're doing with other franchises, I'm gonna be pissed. Well, but I would... if but if it gets Lin Shay pay, I can't do that eh. about it. So I give this maybe a one out of one point five or two out of five, just because I feel like they realized that. <laughs> Not, not to make like a, a, a pun out of this, but the key to this franchise is Lee, Lin Shay. Yeah, Lin and Shay. And they're like, oh, people keep coming back if we keep putting her in the movie. And I feel like this movie was kind of unnecessary, as was the one where they had her back as a ghost. I like the fact that it gave you the glimpse into Lin. I think they did this to give depth to Lin Shay's character. Yeah, but. Her character already felt like it had so much depth already. I didn't need to know how she grew up. I didn't need to know that her dad beat her. That mm-hmm. just made me feel bad. It didn't change the way I felt about her because yeah. I love her. But mm-hmm. it didn't do anything for me other than just like, oh, that's that's messed up. A bonus like I'm going to throw in here is that this is like a paranormal story, but they did throw some like 
monkey wrenches in there with the storyline, which was cool. Mm-hmm. Didn't yeah. really expect that. That was a nice, you know, addition in there. However, they didn't really go too far into the story to explain why these things initially happened, like what the motivation was behind certain forces pushing other people to do stuff. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. I'm just thinking about now, which is kind of messed up. Yeah, it's it's. There's no explanation. There's so, no there's no reason why. I guess that's a like and just a dislike. Cause, just because evil's evil. Yeah. So. We got this on Redbox, which it's readily available on Redbox. A bunch of your, uh, you know, Amazon Video paid a pay to view streaming uh, sources. You can also get it on physical copy, DVD, and Blu-ray. It was released April third. So, you know, we're a little late to the game. We wanted to see this in while it was in the, th- the theater, but, you know, eye problems, Marvel mo- movies, it just, by the time we got around to it, it was out of, you know, it was out of theaters, and then it was, you know, on the red box, so. Yeah, red box. So we decided, you know, since we're going to do something every week, you know, the midweek, midweek movie with the groom, we decided that, uh, you know, let's see what's on the old red box and... And I'm a completionist. I wanted to know. I know what it would be like. I kind of knew this was going to be bad. <laughs> I yeah, kinda, like part it's of me fine. knew this was going to be. It's a, I went into it with, with the bar real low. And See, it, then it's <laughs> not that far of a fall. Then so I went in with this movie as a two, and it bumped up to a two and yeah. a half. So, so it's a win. Yeah. So those are our thoughts. I mean, check it out if you want to check it out. If you love Lin Shay, definitely check it out. Yeah, get Lin Shay paid. Yes, please. <laughs> Um, you can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter at Reanimator. You can find me on Twitch under Repeat Reanimator. You can find me on Twitter. New handle is Repeat Groom Ray, which should be very easy to remember because I'm the groom of Reanimator. Reanimator. So, yep. <laughs> Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Please, uh, like the video if you liked the video. You could like the video if you don't like the video. Hit the bell for all notifications of my uploads. And have you seen this movie? What were your thoughts? Did you kind of feel the same way we felt? Did you have a different take? Leave me some comments down below. I know some I know some people love this movie and I just just I want to know why. If you love this movie, please tweet at me, follow me on my Twitch, make comments while I'm playing the video game. I will talk horror movies while I play video games. I want to know why somebody likes this movie. If you really like this movie, let you, us know. If you would give this thing like a four, uh, any if you give this thing anything above a two and a half, I want to know why. Because maybe I missed something and we can go back and rewatch the movie. <laughs> so, thank you all for watching. Yeah, give Lin Shay uh, her monies and I guess watch this movie. <laughs> or you could just watch, um, was it Bowfinger? Was she in that? Was she in Bowfinger? I know I know she was in um, Kingpin. It was Kingpin. Kingpin. Go watch Kingpin. Kingpin's a great <laughs> movie. All right. Thanks, guys. Right, bye. Bye.